Most people are taught in kindergarten that there's right and wrong, good and bad, but not me. My parents taught me there's alive and dead, and whatever you do to survive in the meantime is gray. So when the government came out with a new system to judge our entire life choices, we weren't exactly thrilled. Stormy, would you listen to me? I am listening, but don't you think it would be just a little fun if people found out we were on the run? I mean, our lives have been so boring here. That's why we've been able to stay here so long. We don't want them to know. Stormy, these wanted scores could screw everything up. It's important you keep yours on private. You're no fun. You're just like your father, always wanting to cause chaos. Thank you. Just get to school or you're going to be late. Stormy, I have piping hot tea that's gonna burn your tongue. Spill, Annabeth. Mr. Larson's wanted score was a four. What did he do? Nothing's been confirmed yet, but they took him away so quick. So we're getting a new teacher. Wait, they just took him away just like that? I mean, yeah, clearly he's a danger to society. Why aren't you excited? We hated the mansplaining Mr. Larson did to us. No, I am. He was awful. I guess I'm just a little nervous now too. Stormy Williams, you nervous. I mean, I'm not exactly what they would consider a model citizen. Have you cheated on some tests? Yeah. Pulled inappropriate pranks? Yeah. Set a world record for the most attentions given? Definitely. Not helping. But you're not a criminal. You'll be fine. Come on, it's time to get our microchips. If only you knew, Annabeth. Annabeth is the kind of girl who believes everything she's told. If she knew the life I lived before I came to Gloria Heights, she definitely wouldn't be my friend. But her being so trusting is also one of her many faults. People use it against her constantly. I'm her only friend. You want to stick that where? It goes in the side of your neck. You might feel some slight discomfort, but it will only last a few days. Isn't this against human rights? Stormy, you already signed the waiver. Just sit still, please. Oh no, this is not good. What is it? Is it my score? I can explain. No, the computer crashed. We're gonna have to reboot. Your score won't appear for another 24 hours. First, the chip will have to analyze every thought and memory your brain has ever had. Cause that's not invasive at all. You can go now, Stormy. Look at us, matching scars. Yeah, you, me, and the rest of the world. <gasps> I got my score. Wait, you did? But the nurse said it would take 24 hours. I guess I got mine quicker. I mean, there's not much to analyze in my brain. My life is boring. What's your score? A zero. I'm honestly a little upset about it. I was really hoping for a one. I want to feel a little bit like a bad girl. I wonder how long mine will take. Stormy, sweetie, did you get your score? No, not yet. What about you? Yes, and I'm a five. <laughs> Sick, mom. You're a baddie. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. But all jokes aside, I need you to cut out my chip. What? No, I'd have to like cut open your neck and I hate blood. You don't have a choice. At work tomorrow, they're making a scan in. If I don't take it out, everyone will know my score. Why can't dad do it? Because your father has butter fingers. He's more likely to slit my artery than you are. Now take the knife and slit right on the X. Mom, I can't. I could hurt you. Stop crying and do it. Now. Stop shaking, Fiona. She never used my birth name anymore. Not since we'd been undercover. That's when I realized just how serious this was. This was life or death. If the government found out what we've done, we'd be locked up for sure. Or worse. There. Last stitch. Good. Now let's see if I can reprogram this. Mom, my wanted score came in. Well, what is it? A four. Do we need to take my chip out too? No, not yet anyway. They shouldn't be checking your scores until tomorrow. It'll give me some time to figure out this reprogramming. Just keep your score private. Mom, be safe at work today, okay? Annabeth, why did you make your wanted score public? Because everyone is. I thought it was gonna be a little embarrassing at first to have a zero, but surprisingly, most people do. I've only seen a few ones. Well, I'm not making mine public. What'd you get? A one. That's nothing to be ashamed of either. Now, if you had a three, it would be like, yikes. And if I got a four or a five, it would be like, take me away. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Fine. I wasn't. The pressure of everything was getting to me, but I just had to make it through today, and then hopefully my mom would have a plan for us. Class, go ahead and make your wanted scores public. We're going to be doing an exercise regarding them today. Yes. Why can't we just say what they are? That's no different than making them public. Exactly, so I don't see the need to. Stormy, please don't make today any more difficult than it needs to be. 
follow the instructions. Yes? Can I go to the bathroom? Sure. But when you come back, attitude adjustment, please. Storm? Why are you hiding in a bush? Come with me. I just don't understand why we're back inside if there's a fire! There's no fire. I pulled the alarm. Dare I ask why? The less you know, the better. This will have to do. I need you to cut out my microchip. With a comb? Have you lost your mind? No way, I'd have to- Cut open my neck. Yes, I know. Now do it. We're running out of time. No, I'm not gonna do it. Not until you tell me what's going on. Annabeth, please. Fine. The things I do for you. I wasn't 100% sure if I could trust Annabeth with my entire past, but her loyalty in this moment made me feel closer to her than ever. It made me sad at the thought of having to disappear from here if things got bad. For the first time, I found myself praying to the universe for everything to be okay. For the first time, I wanted to stay. Are you sure you're okay? You were bleeding a lot. Yeah, I'll be fine. Thank you. <gasps> oh no. What? My score. It went up. It's not a zero anymore. It's a one. Annabeth, I am so sorry. Stormy, I stop! This is awesome! Finally, I'm not boring anymore! Then you're welcome, I guess. Call me <sighs> Anna Batty. We better get back to class before Miss Peppa comes looking for us. Now where were we before the fire alarm? Ah, uh, yes. Everyone was making their scores public. Stormy, your wanted score never came in? Yeah, they said it could take some time. It can take up to 24 hours, but that time allotted has already passed. We'll see if it's working tomorrow. Mom, at school today, they made us make our scores public. They did? Did you? Yes, but I made Annabeth take out my chip in the bathroom first. You did what? It's okay, I didn't tell her anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, but keep a close eye on her. Even our friends could stab us in the back. Give me your chip. I need to see if I can reprogram it. I had it here. What do you mean you had it here? You had it where? In my pocket, I don't know. Where is the chip, Stormy? It must have fallen out. Fallen where? Probably school. Stormy, if someone finds that chip, they're gonna be able to track it to you. And as soon as they do that, they would send you away. Do you want that to happen? I'll go to school early tomorrow and I'll find it. You better, for everyone's sake. And that's exactly what I did. As soon as the sun rose, I was at school searching everywhere, but I found nothing. Stormy? Are you okay? No, I lost my chip. You did? Where? I don't know, but if someone finds it, I- Excuse me, are you Stormy Williams? Yeah. Does this chip belong to you? No, my chip is safely secured in my neck. I don't think so. The chip has your ID number. You're coming with us for having a wanted score greater than three. You are a danger to society. Stop, no she's not. Annabeth, call my parents. When I was a kid, my mom used to practice quizzing me if I ever got caught. We had a fake story to tell them about where we came from. It was a good story. It was bulletproof. But that was before technology got better. With lie detectors in the room with me and a wanted score working against me, I knew for the first time in my life, I had to tell the truth. Even if it meant being locked up the rest of my life. All right, Stormy, you have five minutes to state your case to not be detained. My mom and dad were in the Mafia for 10 years. They worked on the financial side. Their job was to make sure the money was hidden at all times. And they had to do whatever it took to do their job, including take some people out. I was five when they decided to leave the Mafia. The Mafia was under a lot of surveillance and one wrong move could mean they didn't like that kind of pressure. As you could expect, leaving the Mafia didn't exactly make everyone happy. In order to leave, we had to do a lot of things, like lie, steal, and other things. I told them everything about getting out of the Mafia. Well, almost everything. I didn't tell them how I was an excellent pickpocketer at the age of five, and I pickpocketed a lady in her daughter's passport, which is how I became Stormy. Another thing my parents taught me was to never show all your cards. And keeping our real identities private felt right. You have 20 more seconds. My wanted score doesn't tell you my story. It doesn't tell you that I haven't stolen since I was seven or that I'm a really good daughter and, and friend. Annabeth, what are you doing here? I made the guard let me sit in, moral support. And that's time. We'll discuss your case and get back to you within the hour. An hour felt like a lifetime, but I was glad I had Annabeth to keep me company. I didn't feel so alone. 
I'm so happy they let you go. I had to agree with them that my parents forced me to make every bad decision I made. They're gonna go after them now. Did you get a hold of them? Yeah, that's the real reason I'm here. What happened? Are they okay? They're fine, but they asked me to give you this. New ID and plane ticket? So it's really happening. I was joking earlier this week that I wanted to move to a new city and how fun it would be to have to escape, but I didn't mean it. I'm gonna miss you, Annabeth. I'll miss you too. Maybe we'll see each other again someday? Maybe. Annabeth, your score. It's a two, all because you helped me. It'll be okay. It's still not a three. Besides, maybe this will help keep the bullies away from me now that you're gone. Now hurry, you're gonna miss your flight. Thank you times a million. Oh, thank goodness you made it. I'm so sorry I screwed everything up. It'll all be okay. I'm just glad you're okay. Where's dad? You know your father, he's already on the plane. I was just waiting for you before I boarded. Come on, let's go. Are you okay? I wanna stay. I know, sweetie. Maybe we can visit once time passes. No, I wanna stay now and graduate with my friends and Annabeth. The police are letting me off the hook because I was a minor when I did most of those crimes. If I stay, I could live a normal life. But we won't be together. I know, and I hate that. But I also hate being on the run. And who knows, with these new systems in place, we could be on the run the rest of our lives. But if I stay, I don't have to be. Last call for flight 818. Fiona, are you sure? I'm sure. Say bye to dad for me. I love you both so much. Last call, flight 818. We love you too. I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't really know what's in store for me now, but what I do know is for the first time in my life, I have the chance to be whoever I want. I was finally getting a fresh start. And what can I get ya? Hello, Fiona Michaels. How do you know my birth name? Your mom used to work for me in the mafia. I've been looking for you. Uh-oh. So much for my new start.